All right, let's uh, evaluate some limits. And um, over here, uh, how do we get started? Well, what is the highest uh, power of a polynomial uh, in the denominator? Well, we got the six here, but it's under a square root. So what I'll do is that I'll multiply. The first step will be to multiply top and bottom by one over the square root of x to the six. Okay, because we wanna evaluate uh, a limit as x approaches infinity. So here we go. So let's multiply the top and the bottom and we're gonna have, now this of course multiplies both elements here. So we're gonna have negative two x cubed over the square root of x to the power of six plus seven over the square root of x to the six. All over the square root. Now note how this is under a square root, right? So it's just gonna sneak in to this one. So 25 x to the six over x to the six basically. Because we're multiplying essentially this whole thing by x to the six since it's also under a square root. So we get 25 x to the six over x to the six minus six x to the four over x to the six minus one over x to the six. Fantastic, now it's time to cancel some things out. Those are gone. Over here we get just x squared on the bottom. There we can't do much. And now I will bring your attention to something important. Um, remember that the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. And it follows that the square root of x to the 6 will be the absolute value of x cubed. What does that mean? If I write it as a, as a composite function here, or as a, sorry, as a piecewise function, what I'll do is that I'll need to write this as, this will be x cubed as long as x is positive, and will be negative x cubed if x is negative. Why is this relevant at all? Well, well, we have, we're going to negative, or sorry, positive infinity with x. Over there, negative infinity, right? So the square root of x to the six, if we plug in a positive number, will be just x cubed. So in this case, we're gonna replace these root of x to the six with just x cubed. So we're gonna have, so that's an x cubed, cancels out with x cubed up there. This will be just seven over x cubed Okay, so what's going to happen now? We're, the limit as x approaches infinity of, now let me just change the color here quickly. For this, for 7 over x cubed, is just going to be 0. So that's going to go to 0. So is this, 6 over x squared, and this, the negative 1 over x to the 6. Because the limit as x approaches infinity for any of these, will be zero since we have just basically a constant over x to a power, to a positive power. Great, so all of these are gonna turn out to be zero and we're left, we're left with, oh, no more limit actually. We're left with the negative two, right? Because everything else canceled out here, over the square root of 25. Because those also canceled out. And the square root of 25 is just 5, so we have this as the final answer. Done. Look at that. Now how about this one? It will be very similar. Of course, we're just going to multiply top and bottom by 1 over the square root of x to the 6. But this will have one major difference compared to the previous. And why is that? Well, 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 well. The limit as x approaches negative infinity, right? So we got negative 2x cubed over square root of x to the 6. I'm keeping the suspense here, but I think that most of you already know what's going to happen. So over 25x to the 6 over x to the 6, minus 6x to the 4 
to the 6, minus 1 over to the 6, finally. What's going to happen now is that instead of writing an x cubed here, we're going to have to replace the square root of x to the 6 with negative x cubed because the square root of x to the power of 6 when x is negative is negative x cubed. So we're going to have, I'm going to rewrite this, negative 2x cubed over negative x cubed plus 7 over negative x cubed all over this whole thing. Now those cancel out. Here we're left with only x squared down the bottom and negative 1 over x to the 6. So 25 minus 6 over x squared minus 1 over x to the 6. And now it's going to happen that, of course, these are going to cancel out. So we're left with just a positive 2 up there, because negative over negative becomes positive. Now, since we're going to negative infinity with x, x is approaching negative infinity, so this will become 0. So this and that. So we're left with positive 2 up top over the square root of 25. So the final answer would be just... 2 over 5. And that's it. Hopefully that made sense. And uh, good luck.